Hello Ravens, this is Mrs. LaVoy and this is uh, our vocabulary for Act 3 of Romeo and Juliet. Remember that your directions are to create a page of notes in which you include the term, the part of speech, the definition, and a sample sentence. All elements must be included for full credit. So our first word of the week is pun. This is a noun. A pun is a joke or humorous play on words that makes use of a word's different meanings and or spellings. Sample sentence here is with different spellings. I was blue because the wind blew away my balloon is an example of a pun. I'm going to underline this word blue also so you have both the words. They're spelled differently but sound the same. Next we have a soliloquy. That's a noun. It is a speech given by a character who is alone on stage. Romeo's expression of his feelings for Juliet before she comes out on the balcony is a soliloquy because no other characters are on the stage. Next we have monologue. It's a noun. It is a prolonged talk given by one speaker. So the description of Queen Mab is part of Mercutio's monologue. It's not a soliloquy because there are other actors on the stage that he is speaking to. But if he had been by himself on the stage, it would have been a soliloquy. Confines. This is a noun. It is a boundary or limit. Even though it ends in S, it is singular. The prisoners were only permitted outside within the confines of the walls. Next we have haunt. This is a noun. It is a place that is frequently visited. Skate City was a favorite haunt of many middle schoolers. Next we have slander. This is also a noun. It is a malicious and false statement. The newspaper was sued for slander by the actress who wanted compensation for the lies printed about her. Next we have exile. It is a verb to expel or banish someone from his country. An example sentence would be, if the rebels win, they will exile the current president and all of his cabinet members. Devise. This is a verb. It means to imagine or to formulate. We need to devise a plan of action in the event of an intruder entering the building. We actually have a devised plan for that, and that is the ALICE protocol. Next we have bandying. It is a verb. It means passing back and forth or circulating freely. So our sample sentence here, a group of juvenile delinquents was seen bandying about the parking lot. And finally, we have entertain, which is a verb, and it is not the traditional sense of entertain. It means to consider. For example, the judge would not entertain the mother's pleading on behalf of her son at the trial. And that's all our words for the week. Ravens, good luck on the quiz on Friday.